Hi, I'm Dr. Raina. I'm the Director of Urology Renal Transplants at the Cheslok Hospital. Uh, we quite recently started the Pelvic Flow Society of the country. And we got this idea because we had started a pelvic flow clinic at the Cheslok Hospital. Pelvic flow disorders are treated by urologists, gynecologists, colorectal surgeons, and uh, physiotherapists. Earlier, I treated incontinence, the gynecologist treated incontinence, anal incontinence were treated by the colorectal surgeons. And we realized that there was a lot of interlapping. <coughs> So the best way we could actually give them the best results was when we all got together, looked at the most complex cases together, <coughs> treated them together to give them the finest result. And mercifully, we've been quite successful in that. Everything today boils down to the pelvic flow. And if you look at the pelvic flow, all your organs are situated right on that pelvic flow. So a pelvic flow descent would actually take care of the, would be a problem with the bladder as well as the rectum. Injuries there would take all this. Because of this pelvic flow disorders, we also realized that a lot of the bladders had problems regarding to their nerve supply. Nerve supply is right there in the pelvic flow. And so we even started a neurourology unit. And that gave us a lot of insight into the functioning of the sphincters. And what we called, just in inverted commas, incontinence, had various aspects of that. There was urge, there was stress, there was incontinence because of something from the brain, from the nerves. So neurourology and pelvic flow really went together. So we started a pelvic flow clinic and we started a neurourological unit of urology. Because of these clinics and the neurourology unit, we got involved in putting sphincters, putting slings, which as urologists, the world was doing it in highly specialized centers and you were being left behind. And I didn't realize why, because we were as good as our people abroad. It's just that we, with our routine work, we didn't think that we would have time for all this. And mercifully, we have had time. And so our thinking has changed. A lot of research has taken place. And I must admit that in one of the surgeries for an atonic bladder, where a muscle flap is taken, the stroke hospital is mentioned there because we were one of the centers which worked on that, besides tubing in Maastricht and in Europe. And we were, those are in Europe, and our hospital very much mentioned in that very landmark paper. And yes, because now that we are putting sphincters, we are putting slings, we are doing female urology, but this all becomes a part of the pelvic flow. And we work with colleagues together of different specialities. And I guess holding hands is what makes the patient comfortable and which gives him the best results. That is pelvic flow. And now, as we've started the society, hopefully a lot of research will come in. Hopefully a lot of youngsters will look towards this aspect of urology. And we will not be just doing our stones and transplants and robotics and feel that we know it all. There's lots more to be learned. Thank you.